Ah, what's up everybody? It's your boy. I'm about to give you guys a review for Workout New York. Uh, quick uh, few, uh, you know, church announcements. Um, there's a good chance that I might upload these videos on Monday or they might get uh, thrown into the TV smooth that I'm bringing back and that is only because, like I said, I'm an hour behind of when it normally comes out. So instead of like the housewives coming on at 7, it comes on at 8 and <clears throat> workout comes on after that and from what i'm seeing it's going to be real housewives of atlanta next week real housewives of uh, potomac which i might review that i'm not quite sure yet and then workout comes on after that and like i said i have early morning because i go back to work the next day and trust when i say early mornings my first hit time is 6 30. <laughs> Which means I gotta wake up before that prep, yada yada, blah blah blah. So you guys will still get this video. Like I said, I don't know. You might get it the same night or you might get it the next day. I need for y'all to bear with me. That's number one, and number two. <clears throat> I know there aren't many YouTubers that do work out in New York. One thing, if you guys don't know how I operate, like I said, I can't speak for any other YouTuber. You know, if I like a video, I will come on here and talk about it. I understand that this that this uh, franchise does not get a whole lot of reviews, which is perfectly fine. But like I said, I mean, I like to get the views in the comments, but I don't just put videos out because I know that people are going to watch it. If that's the case, <clears throat> I'll be doing the how to get away with murders, the scandals, because I know people watch that. But I want to do what feels right to me over here on this channel. So. Thank you for who's watching. Thank y'all for rocking out with a motherfucker. All right. So now that I got all the church announcements out of the way, hop right into this uh, re uh, review ca recap rundown, whatever you want to call it. And and also, as y'all know, because I watched this after the fact, I'm just going straight through it. <clears throat> so uh, Le so Layla is talking to Courtney. And Joe, well, I'm sorry, not Joe. Yeah, Joe was talking to Noah. They're rehashing, you know, the previous night, Lindsay's party. Layla felt like Courtney was jumping ship being on Team Joe, but he was just like, oh, no, and, you know, I was sitting here pretending. Joe is telling Noah, <clears throat> like, yeah, we sat down, we broke bread, but I know the motherfucker's full of shit, and I kind of saw through that, and I'm just like, yes, I'm glad he has to give to the servant. I'm glad he sees through the fuck shit. Uh, Holly meets with Radius is a uh, fitness uh, video company pretty much they're moving into I'm not gonna really say they're moving into a different industry because I mean you have Beachbody and all these other companies that do workout DVDs but what they're trying to do is not only do that and you even have uh, work uh, like fitness stations but they're doing the app like they're doing all of that combined into one small little package and they meet with Holly and she, her name was thrown out there and they couldn't pick her and they still can't pick her they need one more person but they know that she's affiliated with other brands which means that for her to jump on board it would kind of fuck up you know those contracts so she, they asked her to offer up three names and she offers up courtney noah and lena which i'm sitting there like either she was going to offer up, uh she was going to say noah or joe but she uh said noah We'll see how that plays out. But her whole thing is they need to bring it because she put herself out there to recommend those names. So they have to fucking deliver. And by the previews of next week, some of their ass is kind of shady. I mean, hell, they, it, here's the thing. If any of y'all from Workout New York are watching, if y'all need help on presentation and how to sit here and sell some shit and sell yourself, not sell your soul, but sell yourself, holler at a motherfucker. Trust me, I know how to sell and pitch ideas. Trust. Moving on. Uh, Courtney meets with Mama Love. He talks about his shoulder. You know, she's telling him a guy used to, you know, do something similar to what you're doing. The difference is they put, they make me wait so uh, long. You don't want to wait so long that things get worse. He mentions that he did. And, you know, he even talks about his issues with his family because Mama Love is like a mother to him in uh, New York City because he's from uh, <clears throat> Louisiana, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, he talks about how he and his mother fell out because there was an issue between him and another family member. And, you know, she, I, I guess had her way of dealing with it it didn't mesh with him and because they have so such similar personalities and they bump heads they've pretty much uh you know kind of cut the cord i think it was more her than him and i'm sitting here like goodness gracious am i am i reliving my life between this and the real households but not about me and mama love pretty much tells him that you know time has passed try to give it another shot and so pretty much what she's saying is there has been time there has been distance maybe just maybe going back and trying to you know rekindle things might work in your favor and on the off note i'm so mad because i did not turn the fan on me because i got three lights on my ass right now not to mention that one right there but that's okay i'm, I'm, I'm gonna get through this i'm gonna get through this 
Uh, <clears throat> Lindsay and Layla. Uh, Lindsay is trying to contact Layla because they're doing a boot camp. Uh, Layla is not picking up. Her uh, roommate Amber comes in. They talk about it, and she even says, "Like you know what? Something in my spirit, something in my heart of hearts, told me thank you. I'm mad I didn't." Uh, moving on, Radius calls uh, Lena. Immediately after calling Lena, they call Courtney. Immediately after calling Courtney, they call Noah. Now you can see Layla is in her fucking feelings <clears throat> because she just felt, because uh, she felt like she should have been called. And I will say this. I'm actually glad that Holly did not pick her because just with her attitude and what we're going to see later on in this episode with her professionalism, that's definitely a good choice not fucking picking her. And that's not because I don't like her because y'all already know I don't see it for her or Courtney. But I'm just being honest where from a business decision when you put your name out there and because you can see that, that, that they've somewhat worked close to each other, that she probably already knew, okay, I'm not going to sit here and roll the dice with this one. So it is what it is. But uh, Noah asked them for like a one-sheeter. And Courtney is in his feels about him. I can understand how that could come off. And what I think Noah should have did is pretty much said to him, I really do appreciate this opportunity, but I am affiliated with other brands. Uh, if you would be so kind, uh, could you uh, pass me your number? And I want you to talk to my lawyers just so you guys can hash out all the legal business. And, and even just said in such a way that it did not come off as a pompous asshole. You know, but it is what it is. I said, I told you I'm Team Joe and I'm on the fence with Noah. But, you know, again, I got to call the shit like I see it. Uh, Holly has a basketball function. Everybody's there. And um, uh, Noah approaches Holly to tell him he can't do the event. Like I said, she has her uh, brands she's affiliated with. He does too. And he offers up Joe. Her whole thing is she's just like, okay, I'm pretty sure you don't have hard commitments that is pulling you away from the opportunity of a possible lifetime. So they call Joe. Joe says he's down to do it again. See, because what people not understand because they sleeping on Joe. Joe is sitting here plotting on their asses behind, and they don't even his. They don't even fucking see it. But I like Joe. Okay, because one of those ways is like he gonna sit here and use this platform and everything else to sit here and launch his motherfucking business, so he can sit back and not have to work out to make some motherfucking money. Go ahead, bro. Get your paper. Get your paper. So um, they start to, you know, work with the children because it's like a little basketball function. You know, she's kind of telling them, you know, I was where you were. You know, I made it here. I did a pro, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you see Noah kind of overstepping his bounds, you know, kind of getting into her lane. And, you know, she took it well, a hell of a lot better than I would because I would have damn sure said some shit just like, I'm going to need for you to come, what I like to call the... Okay. I didn't already got in my feelings already today. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, what else? So it's all done. Um, Noah uh, brings up. I don't know if y'all saw, but I got a you know manicure me and Joe, and I can see you know how Holly feels that he needs a, the attention to be you know put on him. I understand it. I can see it. Yes, he's a fucking attention whore. But it's one of those things where it's just like even in knowing this, I think that they need to take the t the time. To dig deep and figure out why he craves attention the way that he does. Because again, get to the root, you'll understand it more. If they are as close as, as they say that they are, but we all know that they're. Pro I'm pretty sure not all of them, like, they know of each other, but they all were probably just thrown into the mix together. Like, you can see that the only connections is between Holly and Courtney, Courtney and Layla. Like, those and uh, Lena and Courtney. Those are the only connections that you can really see. Okay, and then fucking Layla and Joe. J, but not all of them truly, truly know each other. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, he brings up the manicures. Layla, whole thing is, it's like she kind of really just doesn't want to hear because she feels that since uh, Joe has come around, it's almost like everybody has turned against her. This and third, and it is what the fuck it is. I'm not here for your uh, boo hoo, you crocodile tears. Because again, had you not did the shady shit that you fucking did, you wouldn't have to deal with this. And I'm pretty sure he peaked game well before she even did all the other shit. And again, he just sat here and dissected, you know, Courtney's ass. So Joe is not faded ever so slightly. And here's the real tea. Here's the real shit. Catch it. Y'all saw Joe working out this episode, right? Where the fuck was he? In a totally separate fucking gym. Joe know what the fuck he doing. I'm telling y'all, y'all asses, y'all sleep. Y'all fucking sleep. Uh, Courtney's doing our cardio. Holly joins him because he's limited to what he can do due to his shoulder. Moving on, Lindsay and Layla. Lin uh, Layla pretty much is running late. 
uh, uh, Lindsay was finally able to get in contact with her and Layla wants to fucking fake it and she's just kind of like uh no and you know Holly is concerned because you know she tore I think it was her AC she she tore something in the motherfucking leg nah shit fuck I ain't trying to get technical I'm trying to get this shit done with mother trying to go to bed and shit it's almost 11 and I told y'all I got a first hit times at 6 there but um you know you know her because it's the cardio because what what you see is Lindsay was looking to um Layla for the whole cardio aspect so you know they're going through it you know she's in high spirits it's her first time back truly doing something like this since her surgery Layla rolls in late and again I call, I mean well it really wasn't she you saw the shade she was like and here she is you know she likes to make her grand you know I'm just like oh the shade is real with this one but I love it and they get to the workout. As they're going through the workout, Noah comes in. I know it's late, and I feel Holly on this. When you come in late for shit, stay your ass in the fucking back. Don't bring that attention to yourself. Cause had it been an uh, like a more professional type of situation, they would have been looking at his ass with the side eye, like that sharp cut look. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, again, he's doing a whole lot for the attention. Again, I, my whole thing is if any of y'all are watching get to the root of it and no if you are watching like i said i fuss what you do like i said but at the same exact time search inward search inward hey what else so uh lindsey and layla they began to talk this shit out because lindsey whole thing is you know i didn't appreciate that i did all this and you didn't do half of what you should have done the i was here for lindsey standing her fucking ground the only thing is where they did they were still in a professional setting with look people looking on and if this is your first time back i mean i mean you're fucking up her, layla's boy layla participated y'all fucking up y'all own brand so y'all yeah could have saved that for a different place i mean i was all about them handling it in the moment it's just they probably should take that shit away so other people couldn't hear it. uh lena is with her uh boyfriend nick he wants her to go out he's happy that the whole conversation shit is over so she can go back to living a real normal life it, her whole thing is she's married to her profession. All that I will say is, if Lena is watching this, go talk to Holly because Holly is is and well, yeah, it was and still is married to her profession. And I'm not saying you know look at her life, but she even said you know she put this first. And even though she's at the she's at the top, what all was sacrificed in the process. So like, reach out to her and just you know think about it. That's what I'm saying. Think about it. And their uh, Courtney, uh, he goes in for the MRI. He and Holly come back in. It's confirmed that he has the arthritis, and the doctors is uh, pretty much just like we can do the surgery. It's only gonna take me an hour to do it, but the recovery time is eight weeks. And what he should have said is eight weeks minimum. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, like I say, you have the surgery, and of course there is the healing process. He's just like there's gonna be complications. But you made the decision. And all I'm going to say is this to anybody who's struggling with anything surgical. Because, again, I've been there. And it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, the longer you wait, the worse it gets, of course. And his whole thing is, well, if I'm, if I'm down for eight weeks, you know, that's no money. I can lose this. But if he sits here and hurts himself to the point that he has to, he's going to be on this shelf even fucking longer. Okay? So, like I said, bad news does not get better with time. So that is all that I have for this review of Workout uh, New York. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I entertain you guys somewhat. Check out my previous videos that I have done today. And please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys next week for the uh, next episode. All right, y'all. Peace.